then I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can use multiple hack clients or legit clients for that matter on Minecraft Java Edition at the same time. So for this video, I'm going to be using Meteor Client and worst client right over here, two of the most popular clients that both work actually for 1.21.7. They both work for Fabric, which is of course step number one. Both clients need to be compatible with the same uh, Minecraft version, of course. Anyways, I just downloaded Meteor there and I'm going to download worst right now. Um, both of these clients will be linked right down in the description below. All right, so here I've got the mods folder uh, pulled up as well as my downloads. And I'm just going to drag all of these into the mods folder right away. Although that isn't necessarily the best idea. Sometimes it's better to start off with one client, set up that, and then um, actually add on another client. And I'll explain why when I'm inside of Minecraft. Anyways, as you can see, I've loaded in and this works well. I've got the Meteor Client um, stuff on my screen and the Worst Client stuff. And now there is one thing that we need to set up. You see both of these clients use some of the same things. They both use the dot as the um, command prefix. So that's, I mean, we're getting Worst Client commands now, but it's, yeah. And currently both um, Meteor and Worst are bound to Right Shift, but Right Shift only opens up the Meteor one. So what we're going to do here is go into Meteor Client, then into Config, and in this prefix area, we can actually change the prefix. Some clients allow you to do this through the dot prefix command, but Meteor Client has it here. Anyways, I'm just going to change this to a comma, and now we can know for sure that every single time um, we are going to get the worst client commands when we use the dot, and Meteor Client commands when we use a comma. Now that we've done that, we can actually go into the escape menu, head into the worst client options here, and then find the keybinds manager. This is where we're going to change the um, command, the keybind for the navigator. We're going to edit this and change the key. All right, so now Meteor has been set to right shift and worst client has been set to right alt. Um, or you can set it to right control as well, but worst client actually has an entire other menu set to right control. So you see how it is, it's just a little bit finicky. You sometimes need to just rebind things. Um, on that topic, where I'm going to turn off the worst client. This is why I don't use this one. Anyways, as you can see, I've just over here turned off um, the worst client GUI. So I'm only getting the Meteor one. Of course, you can make the HUDs work together, but it's easier if you just only enable one of them. Anyways, on Java Edition, it's actually, as you can see, not very hard to use multiple clients at the same time, but it is still a little finicky. You'll notice that some clients work less well together. Sometimes you'll experience more issues. Also, keep in mind that the main area where you're going to experience issues is when you use multiple utilities from the same clients um, at from different clients at once, right? So obviously, most of worst clients utilities work together with most of the other ones to prevent crashing. Um, but sometimes if you enable something in worst and then something else in meteor at the same time, um, and do that all the time, there's a larger chance that you're going to um, experience crashing or errors uh, and stuff like that walk into bugs um, especially if they're both things that for example hook into the same minecraft process or whatever and do also keep in mind that, that does mean that if you notice something isn't working it could also just be one client overriding the other i've also noticed that it's a little easier to get this done properly um, in Fabric than it is in Forge, especially older versions of Forge. Um, and Meteor and Worst happen to be two clients that actually work pretty well together. As you can see, if you've got some goaded combos, let me know down in the comments below. But like, to be honest, especially with clients as fleshed out as Meteor and Worst, there isn't, at least in this case, there isn't really that much reason for doing this. Now, there is one other thing I want to show you, and I'm going to do that using Doomsday Client. There we go. I can just open this up. And as you can see, Doomsday, well, it's actually an injectable client. You can inject it, but you can also install it for almost any version as a Forge mod or as a Fabric mod. It's, um, it's incredibly cool. So as you can see, you can Forge, Fabric, you can really do whatever. It's pretty sick. And so this is where the tip comes in. You want to find two clients, um, if you're experiencing issues at least, that are 
as different from each other as they can be. Um, ideally work like in completely different ways and this will minimize the chance that they override each other, that they clash, that they do all of that stuff. So for example, um, I think three clients is a little overkill, but I could in theory inject Doomsday right into this. Um, honestly, it might crash at that point, but what I'm basically saying is because Doomsday is, well, it'll inject itself into Minecraft as opposed to being um, a fabric mod just like these two, which it can also be, by the way, but um, just two clients that are as different from each other as possible, that just increases the chance that they will work well together. Uh, similarly, for example, if you were to use an external client like Coid together with something like cross sign on 1.8.9 then, that greatly increases your chances of having two clients working well together than having two incredibly similar clients um, trying to get them to run at the same time. This also exactly minimizes having to reconfigure all these clients as I was doing earlier. Anyways, uh, for right now, that was basically that in terms of getting multiple clients to run um, at the same time in Minecraft Java Edition. If you got any extra tips, let them know. Let me know uh, down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.